Hey guys, it's time to do another update. Uh, apologies with the uh, with the crappy uh, video quality. You know the lighting. I changed it to maximum, but uh, I don't think it helps really. But uh, it's time for another update once again. And uh, I bought most of these from HMV before uh, the store is closing down. Um, I'm still at my cousin's house once again, and. Uh, you know, just like my previous video, but you know, um, I was very lucky to uh, find these um, in the store, and uh, I cannot believe that HMV is closing down. It is my favorite store in the whole entire world. So, you know, a lot of people use the internet right now, so that's why HMV is closing down because you know a lot of people don't go there anymore. They just ordered their stuff online. But anyways, here we go. Black Sabbath's Paranoid. This is a very good album, and uh, it is definitely one of my favorite albums of all time, and it is my favorite Sabbath album, obviously. Uh, just like Heaven and Hell. Uh, this is part of the uh, the remastered series. Uh, just like, um, you know, the other ones. Uh, I think from the debut album to... Um, Never say die, but you know, when you listen to Black Sabbath, you will always say that Paranoid's gonna be one of the best. So, yeah, I still love it to this day. Black Sabbath Volume Four. This is a very good album. Uh, so, I have the debut album, uh, Paranoid Master of Reality, on a deluxe edition. Uh, the people from Krang gave me that album, you know, for free. So I've bought Volume 4, and I've also got Heaven and Hell. Uh, but this is a, another really cool album. You know, Black Sabbath basically recorded this album in different um, recording studios, and, uh, you know, the production on uh, some tracks sounded different, and, uh, you know, their drug addictions have been, uh, you know, a big problem for them. They've always been addicted to cocaine, so, um, you know, there have been some... Uh, feuds going on between uh, you know the band members from these drug addictions but you know it is a great album so yep John Lennon and Yoko Ono Double Fantasy I was very very proud to have this um, it has two discs disc one is stripped down and the uh, the second disc is the um, the original album you know I've been a big fan of um, John Lennon for uh, so many times, and uh, you know, Double Fantasy is the last album uh, before he died. When the album came out, um, you know, he was murdered a, m a few months after this album came out, and it instantly reached number one. So, yep, yeah, I need to get um, Milk and Honey, I believe. The album that came out in 1984. Um, well, you know, I've got to get that one, because I love John Lennon to bits. Deep Purple's Machine Head. This is the 40th anniversary edition original album, uh, 2012 remaster. I always love this album. This is one of my favorites of all time. But this edition, though, for me, was just very disappointing. Um, it just shows you the, uh the inside and it just shows you the disc and uh, just uh, the booklet of the lyrics with nothing else uh, inside of it and that's it it's just um, you know very disappointing so this edition is just nothing special to me at all I bet the 25th anniversary edition is better than this and why the hell is this you know in a sleeve uh, design not like in a jewel case so yeah, that sucks. But anyways, Machine Head is a classic album. Brilliant songs. Highway Star, Maybe I'm a Leo. Uh, Lazy. All the songs, basically. So, yep. And uh, rest in peace, John Lord. He is the best keyboardist ever. The Doors, with the self-titled album. You know, I really got into The Doors um, by... Some of the tracks, and uh, I checked out their album Strange Days, and it's a very good second album. This is the first album. 
I haven't listened to it yet, but it has some great songs in it, like um, Break On Through to the Other Side, and uh, the popular one, Light My Fire, and, uh, you know, the others. So, um, yep, The Doors is a really good band. The Who's debut, My Generation, this is a really cool debut album, and, uh, you know, it has some great songs in it. You got Out in the Street, uh, La 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 Lies, My Generation, uh, The Kids Are Alright, and, uh, you know, other ones. There's the deluxe edition of this album, which has, um, you know, I Can't Explain and some other tracks and some other things. And uh, I can't explain it's not in this album, surprisingly. Well, in this version, I should say. But, you know, I've always loved The Who. They're my favourite rock band of all time. And um, I bought two cups as well. And um, the first one is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by The Beatles. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Really well designed. Half Moon Bay. They did a really cool job. So, um, yeah, I've always loved the Beatles. And, uh, you know, here's the case, or box, I should say. Here's the box for it. So, uh, yeah. And the final item is another cup, and it is Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. And, um,. You know, I've always loved Wish You Were Here. It's definitely one of my most favorite albums of all time. Yep, Pink Floyd with the the logo of that machine. You know, in a spacey type of setting. Well, you know, I've loved Wish You Were Here as much as Dark Side of the Moon. But for me, Wish You Were Here is the best. And here's the box for it. Very, very cool. Beautiful artwork. Uh... Just uh, very infamous as well. So, um, yeah, those are all the things I've got for this update. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, definitely check out these albums if you haven't yet. And, um, you know, this is just um, another one of these updates that's just going to be packed with some cool stuff. So... Yeah, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll keep you posted.